Morning everyone, Chris here. We're just uh, finishing off setting up the gym. So today we're going to be kind of Today we're going to be doing um, kind of the same thing we did last week. Uh, this week I have a partner here to help me. So um, again, a lot of these things you can do with a, either a dummy. Some, uh, if you guys caught the the live stream last week, I did a lot of these exercises with a chair. Um, and if, if anybody wants them, uh, either message me or Cliff, and I can make sure I can send them out or upload a video or something online. Um, and if you guys want me to. Uh, start filming this as well, maybe put it on YouTube so you guys can watch back. Because I know the live stream, unless we post it to like, the stories thing, the live stream is kind of disappeared for 24 hours. So if anybody wants ideas, uh, I know what's important is during these times just to try and keep active. Oh, uh, keep it active and make sure, you know, like they say, maintaining. So we may not be progressing, but we're trying to maintain what we can um, until we can all resume training back in. Uh, so we're just finishing up. I'm going to try and I'm definitely so we start off with a uh, jumping jacks. We're going to do 15 jumping jacks. You ready? Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, 15 high knees and 15 butt kicks. So go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Now we're gonna do two lengths of side strips. So whatever you can do at home with your house. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna go along our length. If you have a hallway or a living room, do across that. And try and get, you know, a good 50 feet worth of shrimping. Try and keep those hands up the mat and the elbows up the mat. And just use those shoulders and hips. So get that rocking shoulder hip rock. Abs, unless you're plowing your way through your quarantine food supplies. shot, I like to call it the shoot pick, the shoot pick, <clears throat> and so we've done this in other weeks where we've done it without a partner, today I'm going to show you how the application will be if you had a partner, but if you don't have a partner, grab some something soft and padded, or a pillow, I think I've shown you guys the other week with, give them like a cushion, just to help protect your knee. As you're up knee, because I know like stuff like shot aren't the best for people's knees as it is, depending on the padding in your gym or where you're at. And I know if you guys are at home, you've got concrete floors, tile floors, and a lot of padding. You want to practice some of these maneuvers, but you don't want to hurt your knee. So you can use a pad. I'm using puzzle mats. And again, just to show you without the partner, what we're doing is so pretend we have a partner here, and their foot's there. We're doing an outside shot. To a single like kind of ankle pick or leg, like or an outside like single leg. So have a partner, I'm gonna step outside the leg, which is here, and we're shooting to scoop our knee and our arm down behind the leg as we scoop this leg back. And when we're trying to land, we're trying to hug the elbow at the back of the knee, and we'll try to listen to the leg. And then usually you would finish up by either hugging and picking the ankle, or you can gable grip, hug the arm, the, the leg tight lift and drive into them. So, we have a partner here, I step out, I scoop down, see so using that padding, my knee to land, I'm through the leg, I gable gripped, hug it tight, I bring this leg through, I lift up, and then I usually drive into them, or start trying to take them down. But, so we're gonna do the partner, and I'm trying to think of the best angle for you guys. Um, I'll do it with my back on, so, I'm here, I'm going to position my mats there like a diamond shape, so my partner's going to face three toes here. So this helps you, like, so if you get the mats, this helps you, again, shoot for you. And then you have a partner, spread just a little wide to make it a little bit easier for you. So we're here in front of my partner, I'm going to step out, and I'm shooting down, I'm dropping down to that leg here. Listening to the leg, I'm getting ripped. You don't have to come through, but just for the, for the reps, you can just bring that leg forward and just do a little lift. Then come back, reset, step out, fall in, try to get that, I'm trying, I'm trying to get like a little bit closer, a little bit far away on that one. We'll try to drop, listen to the leg, tuck that knee, grab, leg comes through, we're lifting. So I'm gonna do five each side and then my partner's gonna switch, okay? So that's two, step, three, Five. And the part is going to change. Okay. Step. Up. Lift. Step out. Lift. Oh, as I keep forgetting to lift before I'm stepping back. We put forward a little bit. Yep. Next to here. Step out. In. Lift. 
Three. There you go, partner. Be careful where you're dropping that knee because you don't want to drop the knee and crush your toes. I've had that happen to me before. So here, spread out. Okay, so that's mine. So now my partner's going to do it. Bring his leg through and lifts. Good. Steps out, scoops down, grabs, lifts. So make sure you're lifting as you're driving in. If you want to try to lift, there you go, like that. So you lift them off their base. Three, was that three, four? Uh, I think four. Four, okay. So we're take, if we're going to roll that way, we're going to take this hand, we're going to place it behind us, we're going to fall to our side. So like laying on the side with the arm behind us. We use these toes on the ground here to lift up on the shoulder. I keep looking that way. Weight rotates across my shoulders. And then just fall to the side. With my legs still facing forward and my eyes still facing forward. Okay? And then, like I said, better you can grab your hands. You know how to just, you can use them. To roll through, or you can tuck your arms, roll through, or again, you use your hand. Now, if you want to get used to the uh, the concept of keeping your weight on your shoulders, you can do side to side shoulder rolls. So like you would do in your normal shoulder roll, the dap thing, just get used to it. It's almost like a back shoulder roll and a side roll. So we're going to look to throw our legs over. We're going to land on our toes and on our shoulder. From there, you can come back through, throw it to the other side, land on the, the toes. So that's your, that's your shoulder roll portion. And now you can go to the side to side. So we're going to throw it back. If you don't have a lot of space, we're here. Now we're going to look at, learn to walk our toes across our shoulders to the other side. And then you can come back down, or you can go back again across your shoulders and back down, and then you come up over. But that's if you limit in the space, okay? So, we have a little bit of space, so we're gonna do five uh, side to side shoulder rolls, and then we'll go into stretching, and then we'll take a water break, okay? So, we're done. One. One. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. And five. Okay. Go. 
So now we're going to start with our stretching. We're going to start from the top to the bottom. So we'll start with our, our head. So we're going to do some yeses. And some no's. And do shoulder to shoulder. Okay, now we're going to hold and pull to our right shoulder. So we're going to grab, and we're going to pull and stretch that neck out. Hold for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Other shoulder, pull. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to do arms. So you're going to do your arms back. Arms forward. One back, one forward. Change direction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're across the chest. Okay, good. Now, um, you did your back a little bit, especially if you're doing like, the things, but we're gonna do some torsos. We're just gonna do like hip circles. I can't remember what they call this, it's like a, I think it's a funny name for it, but do like some hip circles, hula hoops, I don't know. Yeah, and then you can also, if you want to try and get a little bit more of a stretch, you can do like the scorpion stretch where you lay your back, or I like to sometimes take a foot, and I'm going to throw my arms this way, as I throw my knee that way, so I'm just going to, there we go, nice pop. There we go, so again. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to do our hips. We're going to do inside circles, so we're looking, we're looking to weave our toes and not just like spin our legs, we're looking to try and see my hips shifting as I'm doing it. So you should get like a little bit of a, a mat burn on your hip bone as you're doing this. So that's weaving in, then we'll go out, so we'll circle out. Okay, and now we're going to do some sit throughs. So you're just going to take one leg, we won't do the full like, triangle, but we're just going to take one, tuck it under the knee, we're going to sit forward, bring that foot down, reach your hands out, and dip that hip forward. And hold it, come back, change, come forward, dip the hip through, come back. And you don't have to go all the way down, you can just sit down, come up, and get those hips through, push in with the hips. Looks like a timer went up. Okay. And then we're gonna do just a stretch. That's a little bit more. We're gonna take one foot in front of us, one foot behind us. We're gonna reach that leg out as far as we can. We're gonna drag this leg back. And we're just gonna relax and just lay down kind of on top. You should feel the outside of your hip on the bent side, stretching and pulling open. Okay, we're going to change. Pull back. Now we're going to do like a, uh, what they call like a, a triangle stretch or a frog stretch or a kettle. Basically, you're going to do a little split on the ground with your, with your legs, with your, on your knees. And then you're just going to stretch out a little bit. And we're just going to come down and just try and relax and spread, like almost do like a split, but just on your knees to try and open the inside of your groin up a little bit more. And then you can kind of push your back, butt towards your heels and walk yourself back so you, you feel a little bit more of a stretch. And we'll push up. There you go. And then. We're gonna do, if you guys wanna do your toes stretching, you can, you can reach out to your toes. Now you just skip that. Um, and now, so we're gonna do fingers. So grab our fingers, shake our fingers out. Lock our, look our uh, fingers together and rotate our wrist round to loosen our wrists up. Good. And we take a foot, put your foot on your leg. 
can grab your toes, work your toes around, just make sure you give them a little tug, a little pull, make sure they're loose and they're popped. And again, grab your foot and just relax and rotate your ankle around just to make sure it's kind of loose and it's ready to change. So grab those toes, grab the foot, shake those toes out, pull them, grab a foot. There you go, rotate your foot, okay. So that's uh, the warm and stretching. If you guys want to take a two, three minute water break, and then we'll resume, okay? I don't know if you guys want to clap, or what we want to do, but we'll do a clap. One, two, three. Cool. One of them didn't like time out. I don't know which one it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to start off. Again, if you have a partner or a dummy, you can do that with them. Um, we're going to start off with just doing uh, 10 Toriandos. So um, I'm going to do this way. And there you go. Uh, ah, <laughs> okay. So 10 Toriandos. You're just going to step in. You don't have to like fully complete. We're just going to do a uh, Toriandos. So we're going to do the entry in. Grab, stack, actually, yeah, let me rest rest restart. We're gonna stack, step off from the far side, and then set this one. I set the wrong leg first. Come in, grab, stack, push, two, three, four, five, six, ten. So if you had a chair like me last week, you could do a tour around a chair. So next one is going to be our leg drags. So I'm going to show us from a couple angles. So I'll show from this angle first. So we usually just for a regular leg drag, you can have your partner here, they can rest their feet on your hips, or you can be slightly off the side. We're going to grab, if they're no gi or the gi, if they're no gi, you can grab the ankle. If they are gi, you can grab the pant or however you want. If they are gi, I like to grab the outside of the knee here and grab the ankle. And we have it here, so we're here. Her foot's on my hip, whatever she got this foot here. We're gonna, so, sorry. If you wanna do a full one and you have your partner with their feet on your hips, there's an extra step. The extra step is gonna be a step back a little bit, just so we can clear this foot. If they don't have a foot on the hip and it's just resting out in the air, but keep it up, active, there you go. We're gonna grab the ankle, or grab the cuff. I like to grab the ankle on the inside, and grab here, and the hip out. So hip, so it loads the foot, leg forward, and then I can pull the hips back, and then step across, pass across, squat down, okay? My partner, she's gonna do 10 leg drags. That's it. One, two, three, four, Five, six, last week with the chair and I'll show you how it go with your partner. So I'm going to show you from the back side because it's probably the easiest to, to see. So we're a partner, how it is, maybe they got, they got a split like this. We're going to hands on the knees so they can't close up and try and start to set up for the deli heaver. So we're going to try and keep them open. Now at this angle right here with their legs up, it's kind of hard for, to clear because their legs high, we have to get our leg up higher to our butt. So we're using the knee here. 
We're gonna step out to the side just a little bit, just to rock them down, change the angle so it's lower for us. We control the knees. I'm gonna turn my shin in. So my shin turns into the leg a little bit. I bring the, the foot to the butt and bring it over the top. Now we meet shin to shin and I'm gonna push. Okay? So I'm here, I step out, knee. So you can almost, instead of like turning your, your leg, you can almost, so instead of like stepping and then turning your leg, you can almost look like you're gonna try and like run off. So as you're, as you're moving out, you just make that, that, that shin rotate, all one movement. So instead of like stepping out and rotating, we just look like we're just gonna try and run off. Okay? So I'm here, step out, foot comes to the butt, comes over, and then we can either rotate in, or if we want, we can bring it out again, put knee and belly, however you want. What's important is you build up that, that, that muscle reflexive, reflexive, reflex, I can't even say the word. <laughs> the reflexes to be able to quickly shin out and over. Okay, so I'm gonna do five each side, and then my partner's gonna do five, okay? So I'll show you from the front. Right over, yeah. So here, we're splitting the legs, I'm controlling the knees so you can't get that hook in, that outside hook, because that's the one we don't want, because that's when they start trying to step down here. So here, we step out, as they drag that shin into the back of the knee, butt up, shin to shin, push away. Or step through, push away, like you're normal for under. Okay? Step out, two, three, four, five. Okay? Ooh, <laughs> six. Let's see, I'm not, not so good at this side. Seven. That's like a little shin to shin winter water pass. Uh, we're gonna leave the sweeps to the end because we'll do all the ground stuff. So the next one's gonna be, um, it's a shin to shin scoot. So we did it last week with the chair where we shoot in with the skin, shoot in with the shin. But we're gonna um, go into um, a single leg X from it. So we have a partner. And so your partner's gonna try their best to stay up and not fall down, okay? So, come for a little bit. So here, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn to a little bit so you can see. So come around here. So we're in this position here. We're blocking whatever we have, maybe we have to pull the collar. We're gonna shoot this foot to the inside of the knee or the inside of the shin here. And we're gonna shoot in. So we come shin to shin with a, the front of their shin, the front of our shin here. And it's okay, this, this foot can stay here. We can either put it on the, we can post it on the leg or we can put it through. And we're looking to, Hug here, so we've got the shin to shin, sorry, but um, shin to shin, scooping the outside, and we're hugging the leg. From there, we're gonna grab where the knee is, we're gonna grab up on the material, okay? 
So we have the material here, and we're gonna fall to our, uh, so if I have my left shin locked against that right shin, I'm gonna to fall to my right side. And all I'm looking to do is to get underneath them to set up that single leg X position. So I'm here, I'm hugging, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna lift this leg up. You, you usually do it a little bit faster, but, and so we're here, we're in this position here. My foot's already on the inside, foot comes up to the hip, and we're up for the single leg X position, okay? So, try to do it a little quicker. And so you, 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 you probably can post the hand, but you just don't want them to fall on the So, we're here, you can be at this, this point here, where they were, were further out, so, um, yeah, we'll do this thing. So, up here, I slide in, shin to shin, hug the leg, grab the, the pants, they have enough material, and we're just gonna use this so they can't step away. We're just basically looking to bring that leg up, Keep all the legs, so we're looking just to lift, use our shin to shin to lift this leg up over. But we're already on the inside, part way for our single leg X. This foot's gonna come up to the hip. We're gonna bring this one in, and we're here in our single leg X position, okay? Back out, partners away. We hand kind of block them. We reach in shin to shin, hug the leg, lift that leg over, and now we're on a single leg X, okay? So I'm going to do a couple more, and then we'll try and talk. Well, I'll do another three more, and I'll try and talk my partner because this is a new new maneuver for her, so we're going we're gonna to learn it together. So, we're out, blocking. I have this leg up because I'm ready. I already know what I want to do. So I keep this, this leg up and this one down because I know which side I want. You, you, you don't want to be kind of neutral. You can, but I like to keep it on the side because then I can scoot away, and I can also know what I'm going to go for. So I'm going to here. I have this leg up already. I'm blocking. I'm going to scoot in. Shoot this leg through the middle, shin to shin, I'm hugging, I'm grabbing the pants, and lifting the leg up. So as you see that, I lift the leg up, I'm kind of like flicking it around me. Once that leg lands my armpit, this one comes through to the hip, and we have a single leg X. And then you can go for your sweeps or whatever you want for there. So that's one, two, two more. Good luck. In, hugging, boom. You right? Uh -huh. Two. Here, on the side, step, Keep in, shin to shin, hug the leg, grab the shin, fall to my right side, lift my left hook up, rotate the leg over, land the armpit, and I instantly come through, remembering to always keep that, that foot, the toes pointed out, because you don't want to go come across, you don't want to get reaping, so I'm nice here, locked up, if your partner has long legs, you're going to have to lift your hips up higher, so we're here, Control the leg, either hold the ankle or keep it tight. Yeah, you know, we keep tight of our own, ourselves here. Foot comes through to the butt, and we pinch our knees together, and then we would obviously single leg X. Sweet so Okay? So, how my partner do it? <laughs> Try and hopefully get her to do 10. <laughs> so, uh, we're making our way through. Yeah, so it's uh, 25 to, so we'll yeah, we get her to do 6, okay? So she's gonna. So you want that, that foot on the inside because you're looking to shin to shin. So she's going to slide in, hug, head against the leg here. That's it. Grab, that's good. Now you're going to fall to your right side, kick the lift, foot, foot up. Good. Leg circles around. That, that one, what drops down yeah. to the ankle? Yeah, you just kind of already holding it. Yep. Yep, so yeah, whatever. And then yeah, so that foot should almost already be in the butt because it's already through the legs. Okay? Cool. Come back. Show from another angle. Just gonna block. Get in shin to shin. Good. Grab the pants. Make sure that shin to shin is nice and locked tight together. Okay. Fall, kick out. Here we go. That bit should already be there in the butt. Second that leg comes over, just bring that one up. Okay.
Good. Much better. Is that like four? Five, yeah. I'm nice and tight because I'll be trying to do all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And you could be pulled to the back. Boom. By the time they get there, you go. Yep. Toes out. Hug. Good. Do one more. Let's do one more. Yeah. Hug it nice and tight. Good. Kick it out. Okay. So that was a, a chin to chin injury with the, to a single leg X. Um, Work it slow, you'll get used to it. It'll become much more instinctive once you get used to that. It's that falling to the side and kicking that leg out of that, that shin to shin hook out, which gets that leg up to the armpit and helps rotate them because you often they'll be here and you'll kick and it'll automatically like step and land in your armpit. It makes it much easier to set the single leg X. It's um, a much shorter distance. Okay, so next we're gonna start on the ground stuff, some guard stuff. So we're gonna start with just some more sit ups. So we're gonna get a partner. And they can just have the, we have a guard here, and they can just have their hands on the ground. And we're just looking to grab a wrist, come up, reach over the top, come down. I'm gonna try to do 10. Three, Three four, four, five, five six, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. Okay, so now let's change partner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And now we go for the slightly harder sweep. So we're going for the pendulum sweep and then we're going to do a flower sweep. So I'll show the pendulum sweep from the head on view because it's probably easier to visualize. And you can do this in gi and no gi. So we're here with a partner. This is usually a sweep you want to do uh, quickly, especially in gi because people can resist, but it's kind of a surprise one, but we'll do it slowly because just for repetition and movement. So I like to grab the, the cuff. You can grab the wrist if you're a no-gi. Um, makes it a little bit harder to control them because you have less movement in your own self. So I like to grab the cuff here, and then we're gonna trench a little bit. And then usually, and then if your partner has loose pants, we're gonna grab like a pistol grip on the pants, or whatever. If you can get the ankle, by all means use the ankle. Um, for the person uh, today, because she has tight pants, I'm just gonna grab inside, even though it's a legal grip. I'm just gonna do that. Um, if you can, if you lift your leg, I don't know if there's any more material. If your partner has the more material, so if you can get a, a regular grip, like a cuff grip or a pistol grip, do that. So what we're doing here is we're in a guard, and we're looking to, we're going to sweep them over, but we're going to pull this arm out so they can't post on it, as we pull this leg out to upset the base. We'll use, the reason called pendulum is we're going to use our legs like this. So this leg's going to throw it down, as this leg here, sweeps up the back, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm here with my partner, I grab the leg, I'm gonna pull it out, see that? So one, Superman. Yeah, one, so I pull this out so they can't post. This leg's gonna go down towards the ground, and you can even chop it if you want, so you can roll over the leg. Some people like to chop it, some people like to leave it down, it's, you yield it up your own kind of style, and what works more efficient for you with your body type. But what's important is, we have this here, this leg is blocking her right leg, so she can't post it out. I have her right hand, so she can't post it out, so her whole ups, her whole right side has been upset. It's been upset in her base. I'm using this leg, the back of my leg, so lift your arm up. I'm using the back of my leg, here in the side of the ribs and the armpit, to use this as leverage on her, tip her over, to upset her base, as well as pulling this leg out. So she can't, um, she might try and base back, but I'm already tilted her that way. And by put, lift this leg off the ground, it makes it harder for her to put her weight on that leg. So we're here in this position. I grab here. I grab on the leg. I pull. And I come over. So see, yeah, I have hold the hand and I have hold leg. So I'm going to pull back. Here. As a normal guy, they have more material, we'll go faster, we'll just for repetitions. We'll grab, pull out, and go over. So you know, 
Follow it. So I'm going to change the angle. Got a little bit. Hand. You're right? Yeah. <laughs> you grab, pull, out. Pull out as you roll over. You make it nice, kind of fluid move. So your two hands kind of pull in different directions, so neither her hand or her foot on the ground. And we're just going to roll our hips over. So I pull out, legs up like this. And using this, I'm going to pendulum chop, almost like a scissor sweep or a hip bump. I come up into mount. Move back to three. <clears throat> you can see here, I grab the leg, or if you get the ankle, the ankle's much harder, you might have to come around a little bit more, but you can grab the ankle, you can grab the foot. So if there's no gi, I have the wrist, come here, the legs out like that, and come back, and you grab the foot. Here, chop. It's a little bit hard because the leg bends when you grab the foot. That's why we like to grab. Oh my god. Why do you like to try and grab the cup of pants or around the knee? The knee gets a little bit harder because the knee's heavier. So, come here. Oh, good material. Get a cuff grab. So you have pull, pull, and lift. Okay? So that's a pendulum sweep. So I'm going to have my partner do that to me. And you can also you can work one side to get really good, or you can do alternate sides. Because um, what we have left, I'm gonna have my partner do like six of them. Okay, so I'm here. Make sure I've got enough material for my partner. Okay, so she's gonna grab my wrist, get a wrist cup, grab, grab the pants, pull. So our next one is going to be the flower sweep. So kind of same concept, you have a much higher percentage of landing the flower sweep, especially if you're centered under your partner. Um, and centering is, is what really makes it key. A lot of people that learn the flower sweep, whatever variation of it, and I'll show you a few different setups or variations of what I'm talking about. But um, a lot of times people f struggle with the flower sweep or even with the pendulum sweep because it's all based on using your hips and off, uh, off balance in your partner. And when their weight is not centered over your hips, you don't have full control over them. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, partner's gonna turn. Okay. We're gonna do the flower sweep. So I'm gonna show you the, the short version and the full version. So, we'll start with the full version. Full version, I would usually grab the hand, and I'm pull the hand up, and I'm gonna that hand down away. Will I have, will I have a pistol grip or the cuff? I'm gonna stuff this away like I'm trying to set up for a triangle. You know, when you set, you start the arm and the hip, this hand is gonna come up to reach and grab in their armpit. So as you see, I have them tucked tight to my body, hand in the armpit. From here, we can take this, this leg on the side that's trapped and put it on the hip. So this leg here comes on the hip. This hand is gonna feed under this arm and under their thigh and the toes. So I'm gonna use this leverage of the foot here Turn my body so I can grab, you know, the, the almost like the butt cheek or behind the thigh here, and then again, like the pendulum sweep, I'm gonna open and I'm gonna start lifting, and pulling, so I'm gonna chop. So that one's gonna come down, come over, and that's our flower sweep. Okay.
What I'm talking about being offset to the edge, you can see when I'm in this position here, I have my partner kind of centered over me. You can have off just a little bit, but the more off they are, the harder it's going to be to get them. So if I'm here, and I say a lot of people, depending on how they step the, the flower sweep, I see them like this. So they're here, and they got a good grip on their partner, and they have hold of the leg. So, hold. so they hold the leg, but they can't, they're trying to get them. And the reason they're not going to be able to get them is because if you think of the center line of your body, all their weight is on one side of your body. So you're trying to lift them and get them across your body when they're off to the side. So when I'm here, no matter how much I have her tied up, and I might have her tied up nice and tight, I can't, and if they're heavier than you or whatever, I can't get them down. Like I'm trying to lift. Now I might be able to, she's lighter than me, so I pray muscle through it and pull her. But it shouldn't be a muscle sweep. It should be a nice, easy sweep. And if they're off to the side, you use the muscle to try and get them. So that's when they're off to the side. We'll change it here, so now, if you see, I have it trapped. Her spine is in line with my spine, which means her body is centered over me. So I really only need to be lifting half her body. And, you see, once you put this foot here, if you cut your angle, now, her spine and her body alignment is on my left side. So she's off-center, but she's off-center in the direction we want to go. So it should be even easier to tip them over. You know, so if, you, if they're here, you'll get them over. If they're off to this side, you won't because you're trying to lift. But if she's off this side, if she's, say she's like way off, like say she's all the way over here, look, I don't even need to do anything. She's already like tipping herself over because she's so far off the center line that I barely have to do anything. She's already tipping over. So that's what we talk about when we're doing the flower sweep and using her hips and body alignment, okay? So to go back over the flower sweep again, I like to tuck the hand in. The short version, if you can't get them down or you find the person, the short version to get it is again like the pendulum sweep, we're going to either grab the wrist if you know gi or gi, you're going to grab the wrist or you're going to grab the, the hand, and we use this so we can stop them posting out. If you can grab behind the head, you can grab behind the head, but your biggest threat for the flower sweep is this arm posting, so you don't want them to stop. So a lot of times, yeah, you can, if they do that, you can come under and trap the arm, so you can, like you almost do with a like, straight arm bar, so they post that foot out. The hand out, we just sweep under. We just try to look to isolate that arm so it can't go on the ground. So ideally we're just going to control the wrist. We're going to cuff grab, pistol grip, whatever you can. We're going to control the wrist. Same thing again. Foot on the hip. So it helps us cut our angle. We come underneath. We'll grab behind the thigh. And the lift. And change over. So I'm going to show you from the back side. So I'll show you the, the classic one. From the back, so here, I tuck the hand down, I grabbed up, this spine is in line with my spine, hand comes under, so you can either cut it if you can, or you can take the foot, foot the hip, and use that, we'll come here, and we have the, the leg, and then we'll come over, and we'll rotate over. That's the classic one, or the short version, we have the wrist, see this wrist, got this wrist, we have it here, foot on the hip again, so we keep it nice and tight so they can't pull back, and this also allows you to set up things like, triangles and everything. But we have a foot of the hip here, cut our angle, shoot through, lift, and come over. That version actually ends up better for landing in the arm bar because you already have the arm, you have the leg, you can just come over and you set an arm bar. So it depends on where you want to go, what what you're given in a roll. So again, I'm shaping this angle here. So it all depends. A lot of times to set them up, to try and pull somebody down, to keep them down, they're always posturing up. It's very, very hard to get the, the flower sweep, like the, the full tight one. But we can always get this hand here. She's trying to push out. And I can even start setting this foot up here, or this hand up here, ready in anticipation. Foot quickly comes out of the hip, foot come here, boom. I'm already up in my armbar position. See how quick that can happen? It doesn't take a lot. But again, always remember, try and look for your alignment of the body, um, otherwise, they may or may not go over. Okay? So I'm gonna have my partner do I'm gonna have her do six of the just the quick ones. And sorry if you guys can hear a saw in the background, I think my neighbor does some woodworking. Okay. So she shoved this hand down, she's got the cuff grip. She can't fully reach through, she's gonna place the foot in the hip to help get her through extra. And that's it. So she's trying to get her ear to my knee so she get that angle cut. Now I'm already off off center with her spine. 
Okay, so you pull the arm out, chop. There you go. And we'll see if she can land in the armbar for the position. And actually, that could be a good aim for you to try and land in the armbar. Yeah, foot in the hip. Good. Okay, I think it's just your phone is lagging. Okay. So the last little thing we're gonna do is just some um, some triangle to arm biceps. It's quick and easy. So partners here, we have double wrist control. You can do pistol grip if you want, or you can do wrist grab. I like to do wrist grab for at least for the triangle because it allows it fully. So you're gonna push pull. So you push pull. So you're gonna open your guard. As you push pull, whatever hand you push, you push to the to the stomach. Pull the other hand towards your face, leg comes up, I'm going to lock up for a triangle, and then you can just get used to, we're not, we're not going to do the full cut wrap, we're just here in a triangle, we're going to change our grips, so the hand is now free, so we're going to come, grab, highs in the head, and come over for the arm bar, just to get that, that movement down, okay? So here, push, pull, leg comes up, change, arm bar. And if you want to do a little more, you can... You can change. So if you want to put the, if you faster, you can put the foot on the hip. You can do that. Now we're here, here. Sorry, just slap it on the ear. <laughs> and then we're just like that. We're not going to do full arm bar. We're just going to pretend we're extending out. And then so three. Here, here. Foot in the hip. Turn. Like that. Three. Push, pull. Set the triangle up. Here. You grab the head. So we like to. We have that here. We're going to change. So we get the cap. Pull the arm back. Hand the head, open the triangle up, put the hip so we can turn the angle better, and then we'll come over for the armbar. Or you can just go straight into the armbar from the triangle. So push, pull, leg comes up, here, and then if you want a double hand grab, just what it's about is just building up that, that movement. So do one more. It's just about building up that movement of setting up the triangle quickly, and they might try they might try and posture up and struggle, so just get used to that, bring that leg over, and go straight to the armbar, okay? And you can try working on both arms, or you can work on one side. It's always better to build proficiency on one side than the other, okay? So we'll kind of push this up, do a quick five. So push, pull, pull the arm up, that's it. Hug, leg over. One. Angle. Sorry, <laughs> that went wrong. Push pull, triangle. Good, then change, push the face. 